are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, I believe about a month ago, I put up a video on this channel about a woke high school in uh, in Florida. They actually allowed a transgender, a boy to play on the girls volleyball team. Then the news came down that um, the principal, um, athletic director, coach, all of them, they got removed. And one person, I believe he was kind of like a volunteer or something like that. Um, they told him his services were no longer needed. And there was going to be an investigation on if this actually happened. Did this school actually violate Florida law by, by actually allowing a boy identifying as a girl to play on the volleyball team? Well, that investigation is over, guys. And it was true. It was true. But first. Let's jump over here because this is this came out about a week ago. The coach said that he had no idea that this uh, volleyball player was an actual boy. He said he had no idea. Folks, I'm not buying that. I am not buying that. Not for one second. Um, it says here a Florida high school volleyball coach who was removed for allowing a transgender girl to play on the varsity female squad said he had no clue. He had transitioned. You know, post uh, five Monarch high school staffers, including principal James Cecil were suspended after a tipster told local officials that the coconut Grove school was allowing a biological male to compete as a female in violation of state law. Yeah. All of these people, man, they knew exactly what was going on. Uh, the sophomore who began taking hormone blockers at age 11 had been on the team for the past two years. So this ain't a one year thing. This is like a two year thing. Quote, I had no clue. That's what he told the Miami, Miami Herald on Monday. He said he had no clue. Really? Come on. I guess there were some people who already knew. But I guess whoever came in to kind of investigate, kind of pointed fingers at her or him. OK. Meanwhile, the students, um, Irene Mother revealed um, herself publicly Monday as one of the five ousted staffers. So the trans student's mother was one of the staffers. Oh, OK. Uh, look here. Quote. A lot of things were taken uh, from my family this week. Our privacy, sense of safety and right to self-determination, Jessica Norton said in a statement released by the Human Rights Campaign. Uh, it's based on Alphabet, um, Alphabet Group, OK? Um, there's a long history in this uh, country of outing people against their will. Force outing, particularly of a child, is a direct attempt to endanger the person being outed. Yeah. But anyway, I just want to update you guys on that part right here, because now. This school now has been punished. Now, I must say, I don't believe that the punishment was actually harsh enough. OK, Florida High School fine put on probation over trans participation on girls volleyball team. Now, the thing is, though. The uh, trans player ban ban from competing against females forever. Now, if he actually wants to compete against um boys, he can. However, the student even got punished for like a year ban from competing against boys for 11 months, I believe. So it says here a Florida high school was fined and put on probation for violating state law when it allowed a transgender athlete to play on the girls volleyball team last month. The Florida High School Athletic Association fined Monarch High School $16,500, ordered the school principal and athletic director to attend rules seminars and place the school on probation. Further violations could result 
and increased punishment, the student was also prohibited from participating in boys sports for 11 months. So the principal and athletic director, remember, they just got reassigned before. So they're going to come back and do their jobs now, but they need to um, attend rules seminars. Now, since they didn't actually lose their jobs, there is going to be, I believe, a strong eye watching them right now. So they definitely better watch their bats. They definitely better watch their bats because they went and know on this. I mean, they're woke. And I don't believe that the wokes are going to stop. Something's telling me that they're actually going to try and probably do this again. And I remember on my last video, I was talking about uh, woke students were actually walking out in protest to this. Yeah. I mean, this is um, this is crazy, man. I mean, they clearly violated the law, but they did say here again, if they actually do it again, um, that's going to be more punishment. And I do believe they're going to attempt to do this again. I really do believe they're going to try and do this again. I mean, when you woke, you're not all of a sudden just going to flip the um, flip the switch, and say, all right, I'm not woke anymore. I believe that they are actually going to try and do this again. But if they get called next time, I believe for sure. They're actually going to end up uh, losing their jobs. They're going to be fired. And there could be also, you know, maybe just maybe they may end up uh, taking um, certain sports away. You know, and that, that would definitely hurt the kids right there. I mean, these schools, man. There's going to have to be a cleaning of woke teachers out there, woke administrators, because they're not going to stop, man. These people should not be in charge of schools. Now, you guys know I'm not a fan of uh, government education, but it does exist. So the best way to stop all this is really just to um, to go out there and basically say, hey, we need to clean house. We can't be having all this wokeness going on out there. It's not good for the kids. I mean, they're confusing kids. And um, a lot of kids today, you, you know, they, they don't even know what a woman is. I mean, maybe they should actually watch uh, Matt Walsh's uh, documentary on what is a woman. But this school now has been punished. And the boy identifying as a girl banned from all sports, boy sports for a whole year. Now, I'm wondering if this student now, a year from now, will he end up competing in sports against boys? Something's telling me no. Something is telling me, man, that the wokeness is so deep, man, that he may end up trying to get back on the girls volleyball team again. And it's not right. I mean, this is a male a male right here, not 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 a female. That spot on the team was probably actually taken away from another female that actually wanted to play volleyball. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.